my name is Catherine Elliott, and here at the University of Calgary, I've created several flexible ambient devices. An ambient device is a physical object that displays information in the periphery of a user's attention. I've created these flexible ambient devices to meet two specific design goals. Goal number one, the device should allow for flexible information sources. Most ambient devices are rigidly tied to a single information source. Our adaptable devices can be easily hooked up to different information sources. Goal number two, the display should provide some means of smoothly moving the information from the periphery to the focus of the user's attention. Our devices allow users to easily access more detailed information. Since the displays are so flexible, it is easy to hook one device up to different information sources. For example, these beads can be used to display the time remaining until an upcoming appointment. When the yellow bead reaches the top, it's time for lunch. Beads can also be used to display the status of MSN Messenger contacts. At a glance, I can tell that Anand is offline and that Ed is online. Oh, Anand has just come online. The glow lamp could also be used to display Messenger contacts. For example, since the lamp is yellow, I can see that Dean is busy and I should wait to call him to ask about his weekend. The glow lamp can also be tied to things like a weather forecast. Today it was green, so Tony needed to take his jacket. Yesterday, since it was orange, he knew he didn't have to. A third type of device, called the ambient garden, can also be connected to many different information sources. Here, it is showing the contents of my email inbox. The faster the lights rotate in the blossoms, the more unread emails there are. Each display also allows users to request more information through a simple gesture or touch. For example, when the ambient garden is connected to my email inbox, email touching a hidden sensor reads the senders and subject lines out loud, so I can decide whether to read my email without having to go to my computer and open my inbox. The ability to interact directly with the devices that represent the information can lead to devices that are somewhat aware. For example, here the beads represent two of my messenger contacts. I can see that Ed is online and that Phil is offline. I want to tell Ed about a neat web page, so I just touch the sensor under his bead which opens a message window. I want to tell Phil as well, but since he's still offline, I'll have to send it in an email, which will also be opened when his sensor is touched. It is very easy to connect information to the devices. Each device is wrapped as a component, so no knowledge of the motor, sensor, or light setup is needed. You just set the desired properties and the device reacts in the correct way. Here we're going to create a simple clock using the ambient beads. We just drop a bead component onto the form and connect it to a graphical skin or user control that will reflect the display without any code. The yellow bead will represent the hour, while the blue bead will represent the minutes. All we need to do to set up is to set the minimum and maximum values for each bead appropriately. These will be the values at which the beads will reach the top and bottom of the monitor. We are going to get the clock time on a timer. In the timer code, all we need to do is to get the current time. We then assign the hour value directly to the left bead and the minute value directly to the right bead. The beads will be moved automatically to the correct level based on the minimum and maximum values we preset. It is just as easy to respond to the device itself. Here, we will pop up the time in a message box when the main sensor is touched. All we need to do is to create a function for the main touched method and pop in the message box code. Now, when the sensor is touched, a message box will pop up displaying the correct time. This project is intended as a first step towards creating displays where these properties are so well exposed that even non-programmers will be able to connect information sources to devices. Each physical device is constructed using fidget motors and sensors. The ambient beads uses two small motors to move beads up and down the edge of a computer monitor. Touching one of the small light sensors triggers a response specific to the bead directly above it, while the bigger touch sensor is intended for overall requests. 
The Ambient Garden is designed to sit on a desk or table. Built from a fidget interface kit, eight red and green LED lights inside the blooms of small felt flowers can be lit in various patterns. There is also a small touch sensor underneath the front blossom. The Ambient Glow Lamp uses a small motor and a child's flashlight to create a lamp with a rotating shade, allowing it to display any of five different colors. It also has a touch sensor at the base. These flexible ambient devices can be mapped to different information sources easily, allowing a separation between the design of the device and the selection of an information source. They also support the user's shift in focus so that more detail is always available through a simple gesture or touch.